Good evening and welcome. Starting with our big story this hour, amid escalating tensions between the Vatican and the United States, the Vatican has denied a request from Mike Pompeo to meet Pope Francis, accuse the, accusing the Secretary of State of trying to drag the Catholic Church into the U.S. presidential election. The Vatican's remarks come after Pompeo accused the Church of putting its moral authority at risk by renewing an agreement with China over the appointment of bishops. Pompeo denounced China's record on religious freedom, saying that the CCP has battered every religious community in the world. Nowhere, however, nowhere is religious freedom under assault more than it is inside of China today. That's because, as with all communist regimes, the Chinese Communist Party deems itself the ultimate moral authority. An increasingly repressive CCP, frightened by its own lack of democratic legitimacy, works day and night to snuff out the lamp of freedom, especially religious freedom, on a horrifying scale. I spoke on this topic last year for a bit, and I paid special attention last year to the Uyghur Muslims of Xinjiang. But they're not the only victims. The Chinese Communist Party has battered every religious community in China. Protestant house churches, Tibetan Buddhists, Falun Gong devotees, and more. Nor, of course, have Catholics been spared this wave of repression. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo also met Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Parolin. The Vatican's two top diplomats, Parolin and Foreign Minister Archbishop Paul Gallagher, have mentioned that Pompeo's request was denied as the Pope avoids meeting politicians ahead of elections. Harlan said, and I quote, the Vatican-China deal is a matter that has nothing to do with American politics. It is a matter between churches and should not be used to this type of end, unquote. Now, China's 12 million Catholics have been split between a government-run association and an unofficial underground church loyal to the Vatican. After years of negotiations, the Vatican finally sealed a historical provisional agreement with Beijing on the 22nd of September, 2018. This now means that both Beijing and the Vatican have a say in appointing Catholic bishops. Pope Francis has given the go-ahead for the renewal of the agreement for another two years. The extension is expected to be signed next month. The spokesman for China's foreign ministry said that the interim deal with the Vatican has been implemented successfully, saying there had been an increase in mutual trust and consensus. Stanotte 